opening your own architecture office. This is something that you may be considering. And if you are, this video is for you. The reason being is my name is Austin Fox. I'm a South Florida architect. I have my own architectural practice. I made the crazy leap of faith that you may be considering. And before you do so, there's some things I'd like to discuss and share with you guys oh, that you may be wondering. And how do I know so much about this stuff? Well, here's a quick glance at my website, some of the work that we've done. Uh, you can see more in the link in the description, some of our big stuff, all the way down to some of our smaller stuff. So you can really see that we're doing this day in and day out. And I really want to share these topics with you because it may be helpful to someone out there. So let's get into it. The first one is why? So why would you want to open up your own architecture practice? Well, the first would be the freedom, the freedom of your own rules and regulations and uh, time schedule freedom of projects freedom of working on residential commercial maybe you like medical it really gives you a lot of options which options can be good um, another reason is possibilities is really a good one because what you can do being your own boss or architect of your own boss is that you can basically chase after as little as you want or as much as you want, which in our case, I want to go for as big as I can go. Maybe you do too, or maybe you want to work on one project every three, six, nine months. It's really up to you. And that's kind of the beautiful thing of being a business and entrepreneurship. And that's kind of the highlight of things. Obviously there's a downside, but you get the the glance, the, the glamour, I guess you would say, and what's really attractive. So then, so how do you how do you open an old firm? How do you make this jump, this leap of faith? Well, there's several ways of doing it. Um, the first is by building relationships, marketing, getting to know people, getting one client because you need one client to get things going, and taking care of that client. If you do one client right, and then it leads to another client. He tells his friend, she tells his wife, and you know you get the idea. So it leads like a chain reaction, and a lot with that is you got to market yourself because you're coming out uh, as a new business owner as a new business in the marketplace and they need to know who you are you got to find out how do you get your face known how do you get your products out there and that's by doing one and sharing it with the world same with what we do um, and another route which I've seen happen is you take over an existing business let's say you are working for a firm and you've been there for several years and the uh, principal wants to retire. So you work an agreement, you take over it. Now you basically have a practice. So it's basically like a way of op opening or operating a firm is you take over someone else's and keep the, the boat moving along. So uh, that's one way or you take the leap and start from scratch. It's pretty only ways you can really do it. And last is how to be successful at it. How do you become successful in this journey or business that you're now creating? It's really what defines success for you if that's one project per three months or big projects like apartments and skyscrapers and so forth. So it's really number one defining what success is for you. And number two is protecting your reputation because uh, with a bad reputation, you can't get clients and the rest falls apart. And then of course, the last but not least is what I like to say is enjoy the process, trust the process, understand that there's going to be good days, there's going to be bad days. It's never perfect. But overall, you need a trend that's going up. It's like a stock pretty much like you have bad days, good days, but overall, you want to see upward growth. And that's how you really find success in, in becoming your own boss and becoming this entrepreneur, boss, uh, architect kind of thing. This applies to pretty much any business, but this is kind of how it applies specifically in the architecture realm. So with that said, I think to close this out is that if you're thinking about making this jump, it's very rewarding, but obviously with high risk equals high reward. But if this is what you're feeling, if you're feeling about doing, give it a try. And if worse doesn't come, worse comes to worse, it doesn't work out. You just go back to your job. It's really not like the end of the world. Um, and at least you can say you tried it. And that's kind of where I thought of, you know, when I took the leap and, and here we are today, almost, you know, three years into it and I'm loving every minute of it. So um, it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And I encourage you to try it or at least ponder the idea so it doesn't keep you up at night. So that's my take on how to open an architecture firm, how to, you know, why would you do it? How to do it, how to be successful at it. And look, if you have any questions about this process, tips, tricks, I got some for you. Shoot me a comment, leave me a, a, a a like or something basically leave me some love send me an email i got you send me some uh, questions you guys have i'm more than happy to help it uh but in return i just ask you please like and subscribe to the video because i want to keep doing this sharing some tips and tricks and some cool things for you guys so i got a lot planned for you guys so look i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys for watching until next time